Tonight we are here in the Hollywood Museum again after a long, long break. Finally it reopened and the event that we are attending tonight is Ruth Ali's new book. She's gonna sign it and it's not just her book signing, it's also her birthday. And consider your aspist. Stay with us, it's gonna be a very interesting evening. This is Virag Vida from Bionic Buzz. First of all, I love the title of your book. <laughs> so do I. And I mean it from the bottom of my grateful heart to anybody that ever turned a television set on because I was on, or anybody that ever came to the theater to see me, or anyone that bought a movie ticket to see me, or anyone who bought my book, or anyone that gave me money for my beloved Thalians, uh, because we're helping so many veterans with mental problems, and we're Hollywood for mental health. So I say to everybody, anybody that's done anything wonderful, consider your darling ass kiss. I love memoirs. My favorite book is uh, the Memoirs of a Geisha. So what stories will you tell us? What stories will you tell us in this book? Because I love memoirs. I have a lot of stories that I talk about in this book. And they're sweet, wonderful Hollywood stories. Some of them a little bit spicy. Some of them a little bit naughty. But most of them very sweet and very loving. And uh, they're stories that all of my friends said I should share with audiences everywhere. And so that's what I'm doing with Consider Your Askers. And you've worked with so many legendary Hollywood stars like Fred Astaire, Clint Eastwood. Uh, who was your favorite? Who was the most uh, highest or most interesting uh, partner of you? Everybody was so wonderful that it's hard for me to pick a favorite. But of course, I always have to say the man that comes foremost to mind because he was so good to me in so many ways was Frank Sinatra. And you were married, and unfortunately your, your husband passed away last year. So uh, I know it's a sensitive question, but uh, do you want to tell us some words about him? He was the greatest gift God could have given me because he was the perfect husband for me. I'm always bouncing off the walls, and he was quiet, and uh, his demeanor was a little more studied, but he was the dearest, loveliest, most generous man in the world, and I had a great husband for 46 years, and something that I write in my book that I would share with every young bride in the world. And that is, he said to me one day, when I was a little bit unhappy about something that he had said or not said or done or not done, I don't know. And he said, Ruta, you're sulking now. Is this going to be important at the end of the night? Is it going to be important at the end of the week? Is it going to be important at the end of the year? And if not, forget it. And isn't that the truth? So girls, just take things easy. Let them roll off your back and enjoy life. Thank you. That's beautiful. But I have one more question about uh, Thanks, about your with your movie because I see that uh, a mo I see that there is a new movie, but you are attending as an actress. So what is the new movie? Uh, you know, I am barely in that movie. Somebody asked me to do a favor and come in and do it, and the director didn't realize who or what I was doing there, and so it has nothing to do with me, but I adore Bill Shatner, and I think Gene Smart is brilliant, and I'm sure it'll be a fun movie, even though I go like that through it. Do you have some future plans for shooting? My future for shooting, look, I'm an 86-year-old lady. Nobody pays attention. I'm, I'm too old for leading lady roles. And I'm not ready to play little old ladies yet, you know. But uh, I'm planning on doing another book about my grandmother, who was deported from Lithuania to Siberia, where she spent so much of her life. And I think that it deserves more than a chapter in my now book. It deserves a full book of its own. So that'll be my next project. But you are the most gorgeous diva I ever met. So please don't tell me about your age. <laughs> and thank you so much. I thank you. And it's a delight to be with you. And may God keep smiling on all of us.
God bless. Thank you so much.